Hey guys, thanks for joining me. A beautiful fall day here in North Carolina. Got this little Passport Solid State uh, transistor radio that uh, Doug sent me. I had robbed the uh, first IF transformer out of that, tuning slug uh, being uh, yellow. I've got a replacement now. I'm going to go ahead and place it in there, do some troubleshooting on this little transistor radio, and uh, see if it plays or not. Okay guys, I just wrapped up getting the uh, new transformer in, the IFT, the first IF there, the yellow. I went on and replaced the uh, oscillator coil while wow, I had this thing apart as well. So uh, two new uh, transformers in place. Let's uh, power this up and see what we get. All right, just a uh, dead receiver at this point. Let's do some uh, troubleshooting, see what we can come up with. All right, I've got my uh, signal generator turned on, generating a carrier at 455 kilohertz. I'm just place it here in close proximity to the uh, IF section. Alright, so the audio section is working and the uh, IF section appears to be working. Let me just rock this back and forth. A little bit below 455, a little above. Alright, I've already identified the base of the uh, converter transistor. It's got that little green dot. You may be able to see that located here. And the collector at this location and just out of sight is the emitter. Again, I'm not going to uh, ground my signal generator, so I'm not going to use a capacitor. Let me just attach it to the base and uh, make sure the uh, 455 is passing through. Okay, the uh, 455 is passing through, but just a little weak in the uh, collector side. Much stronger. Alright, let's uh, check the voltages on the transistor and see what we have. Go ahead and remove the set screw here for the uh, tuning indicator. Get it out of the way. And again, I've already marked the uh, leads for the uh, converter, transistor, blue emitter, the uh, collector, and green being the base. Let's look at uh, DC voltage and see what we have. We'll start with the uh, collector. It should be extremely uh, low, uh, just above zero. All right. 4.67 on the collector. Again, this is a PNP transistor. And the base at 406. And the emitter at 470. So, what do we have going on here? Let me just double check the uh, oscillator and see if it's working. I'm um, like 100% sure it's not, but we'll just double check and make sure. Just using another receiver in close proximity here to the uh, loop antenna. And uh, just rotate the uh, dial. We should hear a, a CW carrier. And again, there's nothing present. Just like I expected, so something's uh, going on here around the uh, converter side. And to illustrate what should happen, just another working radio. Tune across the uh, dial here. And there's our oscillator from uh, this receiver. Okay, it seems to me, maybe I made a mistake or something. Of course, the transformer only goes in one way, so I can't mess that up. 
maybe uh, the solder joints. I see a break here in the uh, trace. Let me uh, just double check my uh, voltages here. Again, on the collector, I should be somewhere maybe around a half a volt or so. Or less. 4.67. And let me look at the trace a little closer. Again, i got voltage on this side. That's the uh, center tap of the primary. And I think I see my mistake for the PNP transistor. Of course, we go through the coil. But I think there should be a, a ground connection between the uh, center pin at this location back to here. There was probably a, a glob of solder in this area. And when I remove the uh, transformer, I remove that uh, tie-in point between uh, here and the uh, ground itself. Let me uh, flow some solder or put a jumper across here and see what we get. Tack this in for now. All right, let's uh, power it back up and see if that makes any difference. A lot more noise. We recheck the uh, base. You can see that dropped it down to 3 3. And 3 6 on the emitter. She's playing again. There's uh, just a little bit of oscillation. You can hear it. I have not replaced the electrolytic caps. Looks like there's only two or three in here. Let me just jump across the uh, caps. See if they make any difference at all. Let me try this one. It looks like it's this capacitor that's uh, most problematic. Let me go ahead and get that uh, swapped out. And uh, we'll play it again and see if it's improved any. And there's the oscillator. Let me look at it on the scope as well. Just using a uh, coil from my uh, grid dip meter, 0.7 to 1.6. Put it here in close proximity to the uh, receiver itself. And you can see the oscillator is working just fine now. Alright, just a little 33 microfarad cap. Let's check it real quick just for giggles and see what it reads around uh, 15 I'm sure very leaky as well the 
and I still need to do the alignment, but she's uh, playing much better now. Exactly. As a now I'm curious that, uh, I don't wish any bad on you. Alright, so um, a simple mistake on my part. Again, you can see the uh, pop-up again in the uh, window on the uh, configuration and uh, how this actually impacts the uh, bias of the uh, PNP transistor. We go ahead and get this other cap out and just see if there's any other caps and then we'll call this done.